FBP's chief executive taking the hot seat on Capitol Hill, appearing before members of the House of Energy and Commerce. The influential group of senators wasting no time laying in to Tony Haywood. His firm accused of corporate complacency. Congressman Henry Waxman accusing BP of cutting corner after corner to save a million dollars here and a few hours or days there. Mr. Haywood listened for an hour and a half to the committee's questions. Vermont Representative Peter Welch pointing the finger at BP's leader for a series of failings. And finally, of course, we have the Deepwater Horizon catastrophe. And the more evidence that comes in, the more it's clear that was, that, that, that event was foreseeable uh, and it was avoidable. It was eventually the time for Mr. Haywood to speak, but not before one member of the public had their say. After the brief protest, Mr. Haywood gave his condolences to the families of the 11 workers who died in April as a result of the blowout on the Deepwater Horizon. After BP's chairman pledged a compensation fund at the White House yesterday, the chief executive promising reparations in the Gulf of Mexico. I understand how serious this situation is. It is a tragedy. I want to speak directly to the people who live and work in the Gulf region. I know that this incident has had a profound impact on your lives and caused great turmoil, and I deeply regret that. Mr. Haywood told the committee that the blame did not lie with BP alone, but added now was not the time to divide responsibility. After a short recess, he added that it was too early to determine the fullness of his firm's culpability. Already accused of not going far enough to contain the oil spill, members of Congress, it seems, under the impression Hayward's answers are also lacking. Mr. Hayward, you owe it to all Americans. We are not small people, but we wish to get our lives back. For the Americans who live and work on the Gulf Coast, it may be years before they get their lives back. For the Americans who lost their lives on the rigs, their families may never get their lives back. Mr. Hayward, I'm sure you will get your life back and with a golden parachute back to England. But we in America are left with the terrible consequences of BP's reckless disregard for safety.